Okay, uh, my name is Victor and I'm going to be anchor for the training. Uh, welcome to this uh, bootstrap training. Uh, welcome to the channel. <clears throat> if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and share. Uh, this is an indicative video of how you could view the website uh, within a space of uh, minutes or hours, depending on how elaborate you want the site to be using bootstrap. <clears throat> So the question is, what is Bootstrap? So uh, you get to get bootstrap.com. So Bootstrap is a uh, responsive um, platform that can help you deploy websites. So it's a HTML, CSS, JavaScript framework. What it can help you to do is to build amazing websites. So there are quite a lot of things you could do with Bootstrap. So I, without much fluff, I want to show you some examples of stuff you could do with Bootstrap. If you get to get bootstrap.com, go to examples, uh, you could see the source code. Uh, take for instance, if you want to build something like this, have a logo, a title, a menu, all of these are headers. You want to have a website, have nice menus like this. You could do that uh, using Bootstrap. Also, if you want a hero section, I'll just open them in new links. Uh, if you want to create, uh, let me show you something else again. If you want to create an album, right? You have something nice like this, right? You have like a gallery of items. Images are going to be here. Uh, if you want to create um, a pricing table, right? Something like this. In I zone, you could do that using Bootstrap. So you want to have something like this, uh, build a nice website like this, <clears throat> you could use Bootstrap to do that. So there's quite a lot of things you could do uh, with Bootstrap. You could have a blog uh, like this um, with Bootstrap. Now, prerequisites to this, you should be able to do HTML, basic CSS, basic JavaScript. Even if you're not very good with uh, JavaScript, you could still follow along with this training, with this tutorial. Now, if this does not amaze you, now you get to a website where you could get free bootstrap templates, completed websites. You could use that to build typically anything from basic to intermediate. <clears throat> so most advanced websites use bootstrap to do either their front end, do their back end, do their dashboard and build amazing websites. So let me show you some free stuffs that we have here. If you go to templates, you see templates are categorized on that business, landing page, personal, uh, medical, uh, educational, corporate. So let me show you a few, few websites that are based on Bootstrap. Okay. Sisto, uh, Dagency Services. Uh, okay. Let me see if I can get a link. Uh, dot com I think if i can remember the website okay, yes so if you see this website this website is built on bootstrap so the front end of this website is a purely bootstrap though the back end was done uh, using a uh, php but the very front end of the website is built using bootstrap so all of this you have in here the template is completely free. All you just need to do is to make changes to the colors, your images, your contacts, your forms, and the rest. So it's completely built using Bootstrap. Okay, if you see uh, softwareventure.com slash island, this also is built using Bootstrap. So this is uh, the learning portal for Southtech is built using Bootstrap. So I can go on and on. So there's a, quite a whole lot of things you could build using Bootstrap, having several sections, many predefined uh, sections of the website already done for you, right? So the question is, how do you get started using Bootstrap? So first, you want to make sure you understand the basics of your HTML. You could check up the channel uh, for reference to that. I will drop that maybe in the link. Uh, or do a particular uh, generalistic kind of video on that. But if you have that idea or you feel you're good enough to follow up, then ride on with me. So you have quite a lot of templates you can use to build website for construction, website for, for healthcare, website for uh, medical lab, website for, yes, this restaurant, this for, okay, look at this one. Let's look at this one, this educational. Right, if you check the live demo, 
and they are free to use, right? So all you just need to do is to understand the structure of the team, then make all of your changes, right? So you could have changes uh, to this place. You can have your logo, change all of this text, uh, change your logo, change all of the images, make some tweaks um, and all of that. Now, I, what you want to do, you want to first understand Bootstrap and its documentation. So its documentation gives you what all of these templates are made up of. So you want to understand things like um, grid. You want to understand things like columns. You want to understand things like um, carousel, right? You want to understand things like carousel, right? So you could take, pick up any of this code and make changes to them and adapt them to whatever you want to do. Uh, you want to create a nav bar. That's a navigation bar for your website. So you see some examples, right? So you could create something like this. So it all depends on what you're trying to build, right? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use Bootstrap first, pick some important part and just build something very simplistic. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and pick any of these templates and build a site to some extent, depending on how my time permits me. So the idea is to make you understand uh, the different sections of Bootstrap and how you could pick a Bootstrap template and build an entire site. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> so if you want to build on Bootstrap, uh, let's assume I want to use this. I'm not going to build a full-fledged website. So the goal is to give you a heads up on all the different content, the different components of Bootstrap so that whenever you want to now scale whatever website you're building, it becomes very easy. So I just need to go to my Visual Studio code. So that loads up. Now, the next thing is, um, if I need to be the website, I need to have like a sketch, right? You want to have a wireframe. So a wireframe gives you an idea about the structure of your website. How is your website going to look like? Uh, what are the different sections of your website? Are you going to have headers? What's going to be the menu? It's typically what gives the user experience, the flow of the contents of your website. Uh, where are you going to have the header, the logo, where are you going to have the menu, where are you going to have uh, the sliders, where are you going to have images, where are you going to have video. So you want to have that sketch uh, uh, like sorted out. Okay, since we're just trying to do a demo, I'm going to make it very simplistic. So I have my Visual Studio code loaded. Uh, what I want to do is that I want to create a, let me see, any file. Right? And I'm going to call this file bootstrap. Or let me call this uh, index uh, dot, uh, let me say HTML. Okay, index, okay. Uh, let me create a folder on my desktop and call it uh, bootstrap, save it. Okay, it's not giving me option to select the file type. So I think what I will do is uh, I just say file type. Okay, it's actually not put file type, no file name. So I'll say HTML, right? So it gives me option, what's the name of the file? I get to desktop, bootstrap, what's the name of the file? I say bootstrap, right? Uh, what type of file? Okay, let me create and see what happens. So it still does not create as a HTML file. Look, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to save us and see what happens. Uh, I think F12. Um, what's happening? Let me cancel this. New file. Text file beauty type HTML. All file. Wow. Seems to have options here. Uh, I don't know why it 
uh, because I configured the system uh, on my Jupyter notebook. I don't know whether there's some box here. Okay, let me open that folder and see, bootstrap. Let me create a file and call it uh, .html. See what happens. <clears throat> so let me open the file, bootstrap. Okay, good. I don't know what happened actually. But normally you should be able to create a new file and save as a HTML file. Let me create another one. Control N, select language, HTML, rather, sorry. Select language, I click on this. Select language, HTML. Right, I save us. Uh, next page, see, right? So very simple, you want to create a file and let it be a HTML file, then you keep coding. Now we have our HTML page. So what we want to do is to make sure that we have, we have it opened. So I'll open a new browser, Control-O. So I'll just open a new file, uh, desktop, uh, bootstrap. If you actually should be bootstrap, right? Okay, let me cancel this all together and rename the file. So F2 bootstrap. Good. So this will no longer be there again. Control O bootstrap. Good. <laughs> so uh, don't mind the, the, the issues. Uh, we just move on. So once I have my HTML file open, there's a shortcut you could use, Shift-1. Shift-1 is going to give you the boilerplate, right? So you have uh, the boilerplate, like the template for it to start coding. If you don't want to do this, you could get the sample template from Bootstrap documentation. So I go to the docs. Uh, this way, I'm building completely online, right? So when I get to the docs introduction, so this particular boilerplate is just like what we have here. The doc type, HTML, open, close tag, the header, right? Then the body I can put in my code here. Or I could use the one that have the web reference for the bootstrap, and the JavaScript file. So I prefer this, copy this, take off everything and paste, right? So the point of call here is the second one that includes the bootstrap uh, uh, cascading style sheet and JavaScript file, right? So all you just need to do is save this. I want to view this, see what it looks like, right? So I have a blank website. So I need to open it. Which file am I opening? Okay, there is it. Bootstrap. So it's open hello world. So this is the hello world. This is it here. Right, header one. So your basic knowledge of um, basic knowledge of uh, HTML. Header tags used to identify your different headers. Right, save, refresh, right? So I have this uh, uh, kind of mini site working. So I take all of this. All I want to do is a bootstrap demo website. All right. So if I check here, I'll see that change. Refresh this. See that website has been affected. Bootstrap the website. So I could go out now and keep coding. Uh, okay, so next thing, we want to have a very simple menu. Now I could use any of the nav bars. So the idea is how do I use this bootstrap framework and do some basic stuff, right? 
Though later on, we're going to use full fledged templates, but let us understand the structure of Bootstrap. So if you get to, so you have them in sections, you have um, customize, you have layout, you have content, you have forms, you have components, you have uh, helpers, quite and some utilities also. So we'll just focus on some of the very simplistic aspects. Um, let's see. Um, components, so we'll dwell in components. So very few components that I'll be using will be, let's say, alerts, maybe accordion, maybe buttons, maybe cards, maybe carousel, maybe drop down, will I need drop down, maybe Nava, pagination, maybe, uh, okay, okay, typography, okay, fine. So I just want to do something basic uh, for you to have full graphs. So alerts, buttons, card, carousel, uh, Nava. So once Nava is up, we want to see what we can do with Nava. So you have documentation and examples of Bootstrap powerful responsive navigation headers. The Nava includes support for branding, navigation, and more. Includes support for our classical plugin. So I want to see what they have here. So this instructions of instruction on how it works. Uh, the latest version is 5.2. Uh, back then it used to be. <laughs> I think uh, one, two, three, four, five, right? Uh, you have newer versions every now and then. So if you want this kind of nav bar, all you need to do is to pick up the code here, right? Copy this to clipboard. This code will do the job for you. So all you just need to do is to edit the names, right? As you have them, then you give to the backend engineer that will now do functionalities for the search and the rest. So we're trying to build just the front end of the website. Okay, you have another example here. Uh, let me look for something nice. So you have quite a lot of examples here. You can look at this one. I think I love this. Okay. So what I'm trying to tell you here is the same they have this class. This is the tag. This class, Nava, Nava, Dark, BG, Dark. This class is going to make whatever you have dark. This class you have is going to make whatever you have blue. This tag is going to have give whatever you have, whatever color. So you could do something custom. This primary, primary knows to be blue. The secondary, there's what you will see that later on. So let me stick with this. So I'll pick this. This start here. Sorry, what happened? I'll copy this. I'll paste here. Right. So I need a nav bar content. So I'll go far, far, far up and pick some of this um, nav bar. Let me see if I can see something I like. Okay, look at this. So all of these, I could have all of this, right? I just pick up the code, get to this place, expand this so you can see very well. All I do is I take this off and I paste my code. So all of this is going to be my nav bar. So basic HTML, so with some classes, let me put a comment here and say um, now bar session. Now bar session section. So how did I put in a comment? I just said control slash. So start here, start here, and I put a comment session by saying, okay, the now bar. Control slash, say Nava and say, right? Okay, good. So let me save it. Actually, there's a, a plugin uh, reload that automatically save whatever you're working on. So this is what we have, right? Okay. Uh, I think it's towards the right. Let me see.
Okay, so let's refresh. That's what it looks like. Okay, uh, do I need this background? Okay, because I'm not going to be doing much of CSS now. I'm going to take off this nav bar primary that gave it the background. So I'm going to take this off. I think this, right? Refresh, let's see what happens. Okay, good. So this is what you have. So typically we have a nav bar. Uh, wherever this nav bar is, uh, this text here, right? Nav bar. This is it here. Uh, where you have uh, home, right? And a link. Link. Action, another action. Disabled. This disabled. You have a drop down. So all I want to do is take off this particular list for disabled. I don't need it, all right? Change this to home. What's the next thing? Link. Okay, so I can still make it um, about us. About us. This drop down, I could say our services. Just want to do something simplistic. Our services. Under the drop down, I could have so our, our services and I have action, action, something else. Okay. So I could just add this is the class for all the our services. So this is rather the list for all our services. This is the list for about us. So I could duplicate this and tap this and see where it ends, then add two more, right? Our, uh, our services, I could call this um, software development. Call this um, business development. Call this, okay. I don't want this divider. So this divider is uh, just this guy here, this line here. I can take it off. I don't need it. And um, something else here, I will say digital forensic. Services. I could add one more. Wow. Let's see. Threat management. Threat management. Uh, consulting. Okay, good. So about us um, partners or CSR, then contact us. Let's say contact. So of course, this can go to several links. So I save it, see what it looks like. Don't be that. So the very simplistic. Uh, so where, where you have this nav bar, you could decide and say, okay, this is the nav bar here, right here. You can decide and say, okay, I don't want to have this nav bar. That is this line. I want to have an image tag there, right? An image tag can be such that I have a link. Did I do a href uh, link? Or? I just do a simple image tag, right? A simple image tag that uh, have a source. Let me see a logo.png. I hope I have a logo there. Make the width to be, let's say 50 pixel and the height should be, let's say 50 pixel or something very small. Okay, what does it look like? 
Okay, so this is it there. Okay, so normally we want to make this to be center uh, and the rest. So we could have an image there. So if I need an image there, let me see if I can get an image. Uh, okay, let me pick these images. One, two, three, four, five. Let me pick them and take them to this folder. So you want to make sure that your, your images are within the folder uh, where you're doing all of your stuff, so they are in the same directory. So that you, be, you don't have to be doing some relative referencing. Okay, uh, let me see if it can pick that logo. Logo, okay, good. Seen it, I refresh, see what it looks like. Good, so we have that logo there. Okay, not the best of logos, but let's try it on. So the next thing we want to do is see, we've used Bootstrap to implement a menu. We didn't have to code it from scratch. Okay, the next thing we want to do is cards or carousel. Okay, let's go to do some carousel. So there are different type of carousel under components. So you have uh, a single, uh, okay, simplistic slide. You have the ones with the, uh, like the uh, guide, this navigation guide. You have the ones with uh, this uh, status, uh, tell us like progress where it is currently. And you have the ones with description. Okay, I think let's go with this particular one, right? So this is the code for it, this is the code base for it. The div ID, carousel example indicators, the class, then this is the image one, image two, image three. So the rest make sure that everything works fine. I pick it up. So this is indicative of the header session, right? So normally if uh, you, after your foundation class or after you get to understand how this thing works, normally this is not how you're going to set up your templates. You don't want to repeat yourself because if you're going to be having subsequent pages, you want to make sure that you have uh, the entire, this header section, all in a separate page and you call them uh, whenever you need them. That's if you're doing, uh, let's say PHP or you're doing whatever kind of language you use to code whatever you're coding. So, but here we're going to keep it uh, dummy, simplistic, so that you see how everything is working. So it's because, because it's not a dynamic site. So, so this is the second session. So I will say slider session section. Drop the code for the slider session. So, first image I want to use it's here. So, that's image one. So, let's see, thread as the logo. That's the image, threads.php. I think I have an image called digital or uh, this server security. Uh, what's the third image I have in that folder? Let's see what is So, they are all banners, right? Web design, good. So let's see what it looks like. What it looks like. Okay, so it's my slider, kind of large. So I want to style. So alternate tag, uh, use alternate tags if you need to describe the image. For instance, uh, persons with disabilities, if they are to view this website, uh, they cannot see the image, right? Uh, maybe visual impairment, they will uh, be able to read the alternate tag for each of these images. Of course, they're able to read the text with their readers, but they will not be able to read the, uh, what's it called, the images. So you want to use alternate tags. So I could say here, thread management, services that you turn it tag for oh. cyber security and digital forensic here i could see website 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 design services so this tutorial assumes you could do basic html basic css right 
Okay, but you could still catch up. If you watch it once, twice, you practice with me, you get it. Okay, uh, let me see what it looks like. Okay, yes, I think I've not done it. I just created the alternate tax. Next thing I want to do is I want to add some height to it, to each of them. Let me say 350. 350 pixel and to duplicate this on all of them, see what it looks like. Normally you're going to be creating your custom slider images so that you have a very nice look and feel. You don't want something like this, uh, but this is for the creation of purpose. Yes, so this image is already stretched, but we'll use it that way, right? Normally you should create your own. Okay, let me make this, uh, let me see 360. 360, just 10 pixel more, 360, let's see what it looks like. Okay, slightly better. So I have my menu, I have this. Okay, alerts. I think I can use alerts to, to write a section, write some stuff. Uh, what, a, what other thing can I use to, just call out some uh, text. Okay. Example, accordion. Accordion is nice. I could use accordion to write some text. Okay, I just want to write some welcome. Uh, okay. A lot, a lot is fine. Accordion. Accordion is fine. Accordion section two, section three. Then I need all of this. Okay, okay, let me pick this, right? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just have this. I'll take off these other two sections and I'm going to start having my cards. Okay, let's try that out. So I'll say welcome section. Oh, let me just do a paragraph, right? Let me just do a paragraph. So it ends here. So I say the we just finished the slider section and see it. Right? So the new section we want to do is welcome section. Right? Welcome section starts here. So I just want to have a paragraph. I see some text. Uh, I'm going to do so much of formatting. Okay, let's copy all of this. And just put into the paragraph. Save that. Let's see what it looks like. Right, so something as simple like this, right? Next thing we want to do is accordion or rather cards. Let's see what we can do with cards. So I have this nice card here. I have uh, another card here without this button. So this have maybe an image, it is a, a, a service, a description and a link. Okay, let's use this. There are several other variations, but let's use this. But before we use this, since we want to have um, want to have, let's say three sections, let's say three, four sections. I think it's best for us to have um, a grid. So you need to take your time and study uh, the bootstrap framework. It has quite a lot. Uh, I think it's in layouts, layouts. Grid, okay, yes, good, grid. So with the grid, you could plan, uh, so you have different structures. This is an equal three column. You have uh, the column um, break points. Uh, if you need to uh, divide the columns, how you go about it. This is two by two. This is one of three. This is equal, this is what we're trying to do. So you see the documentation for all of it, right? Okay, so I will just stick to this very first one. So this is my code for it. Now the class is container text center. So the text is going to be center. I'm sure you could do left, you could do right and the rest. So you have the div class row. 
This is the first content, second content, third content, right? So this way I'm going to put it in my cards. So I'll pick this. And for the welcome section, so I say, this is going to be my services section. Right, I will end it. Services section ends. Right, so this is the very first column. So let let's see what it looks like. Okay, see what I'm seeing. I'm seeing column, column, column. So I think that gives me opportunity to go ahead, copy this card, and paste this card in all of the place I have columns, right? Columns, right? And column, right? So what's going to happen is I'm going to have something like this. I think this is awesome. I could still make this better off. Maybe I will build it uh, to some extent and come back to the tutorial and now do some styling. Okay. I want to have six of it. So what I can do is I'll pick everything here. That is, I collapse this. Sorry. Love this part. Everything here. Right. I just duplicate it. Save it. See what happens. I see. Good. But we don't have a space. Okay. I think I can just check this. If I tap here, I can see where the tag ends. Uh, what's happening? Did it go well? Let me see, just a moment. Okay, I think it went well. But I need to have some kind of break. Okay, I think this, this is a tag for everything. Let me see this tag where it's ending. Let me see this tag where it's ending. Okay, this is column one. Okay, it seems this is not, I'm not broken this one down. Okay, good. So I think this very first one, this very first tag ends here, right? This is where it ends. So I'll do. It just a brick tag here, right? Maybe one or two. Let's see what one looks like. Good, I think it's fine. So I just need to put images here, right? Edit the text. Of course, I could make this a little bit larger, just fill up the area and the rest. So the very first thing I want to do is to have these images and have the services. So, so that's the card title. That's each of, each of these card titles. I uh, just need to go uh, first card title. So website design, website design. Second card title is um, Digital marketing. Top title is uh, project management. Fourth title. So I mean the next start, um, the next session now is uh, Cisco networking. Next, uh, typical listing of uh, uh, most of the trainings that offer that Southtech. Uh, next uh, section, I see data science and machine learning. So I'm going to uh, see how this plays out in terms of uh, width. Then the last one I'm going to see 
digital, digital forensics, forensics. Okay, I save that. Let's see what it looks like. Comes out well. Good. All of these things are links to whatever. So the next thing I want to do is the images. So if you check for each of the cards, you have images. This is the image source. So I just need to say, let me just use the logo for all of them. I want to keep the video short. Logo for all of them. Logo for all of them. They go for all of them. I think I should just copy and paste. Image source as I'm looking at for. Of course, you could decide to, it's going to fill up the entire page. So what you want to do is make sure that you size off. Okay, I think it came out a little bit. Um, then if you size up, you can try just leave it that way. So I have my menu, I have my slider. I have uh, maybe welcome. I could have, before the welcome, I could have um, just a small, call this, um, okay, this, let's call it still, let it still be part of the welcome section. So I will just use this old center tag and say, um, Welcome to the basic bootstrap class, right? Yes, it's basic. Let me take this to the end. The better way to do this, that's why I see it uh, getting red. So, but we want to keep it simple, it still works. Good, so welcome to basic uh, bootstrap class. So I want to see if I can make this a header one. Header one. Good. So to wrap this. Right. Let's see what it looks like. Good. Awesome. Welcome to the busy bootstrap class. So I have this. So what else? Uh, let me see. Remember, I showed you some examples in the bootstrap getting started. I have um, look at this album. Look at this blog. So I think they have a blog. Okay. Okay. Let me see what this looks like. Okay. I think this is nice. So this can be this can serve as my block section. Uh, should I use this? Should I use uh, this? What should I use? I think this looks more nice. All I need to do is to inspect this page, right? Because it's bootstrap or I've already referenced. So I'm looking at secondary action where it stopped and uh, name it. So I could pick up all the things I need. Let me see. Body header. Sorry. Uh, secondary action. Let me check secondary action. I could go search for it. Let me search. Secondary action. Okay, good. So this is the section, this is where the section ended. So this is where the album section started. So the album section started from here, way up to album section, album section, album section, nine minutes, right? This is where the nine minutes ended. So maybe here. I'll look at this main and see where this main section, this main should be here. So this part, Album, exa album example, something short and leading should be this part. So we don't need this part, we don't need this mean, just from here, I think up to here. Okay, I'll cut that off. Not really cut, just copy it. 
we see if it comes out nice. So that's the end of the services. So this is going to be start of the blog section. <laughs> you must be wondering what's happening. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Awesome. Wow, side is coming up. I think all I need more is just my footer. Let me see if I could, could grab some footers. I have uh, this, um, what was it called? This pricing sheet. Yes, this nice pricing sheet. You see this pricing sheet? You see the way it's built? You see this nice footer? So I could take this end and do all of the edits, right? So let me inspect again. Or rather, not inspect. Let me just view page source. Okay, I think inspecting will also help me. I'm going to say, okay, just this part. So I think is the footer section. So, yes, so from the footer class, right? Everything here, right? So, and to console this, go view page source, get to the footer section. So this is it. From here, footer class, and here. What is this div tag doing here? I think that's the one that takes care of the entire part of that area. So. I'll just pick only this and go ahead, add my footer. Footer section. Don't worry, all of these things will play out. It makes sense to you. So I just need to edit all of this text, all of this stuff. So when you start using, I'm trying to build this from scratch so that you see what, um, you see what a, uh, what the template is made up of. So it will actually allow you to be able to build these things, make edits yourself and the rest. Okay. Not too bad. We could always change this. Let's change that. Uh, where's the guy? This is the guy here. Image class. So this is the logo. So let's change it to our own logo. Our logo is this. This is, um, let's keep it at 2022. Let's refresh. Too tiny because of the width and height. So let's keep it 50-50. Keep it let's see what it looks like. Not bad. Uh, the width should be slightly, let's say 80, or let's say 100, 170. Okay, more like it. Okay, so we've built a site. A simple, basic website is a bootstrap, right? So in the next section, I'm going to tell you how to now use bootstrap templates, full-fledged templates to build something more classic, right? Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have questions, don't forget to comment in the session group. So you want to see something that's already, uh, somebody already spent time to build this, so you want to see how you could pick it back on this site and build something very amazing. Okay, thank you very much. See you next in the second part of this video.